My name is Kai Straw, and in March of 2020, I lost my job to COVID, and since then, I've been pursuing music full time. And that's that's this story. Hey guys, I'm here with a red beard. Dance cute. Just a little bit about me, maybe. I live in San Francisco with my brother Travis. I have a. A fear of things living in my skin. I, I ordered a new camera and I was messing around with it with my brother. Aww. These Sour Patch kids are huge. Guys, draw in Christmas boy. Christmas boy. And I'm excited to share my story, really, because you're either gonna watch me fail miserably or like suffer immensely or whatever. I'm a little uncomfortable on camera. I'm more comfortable than I once was, though. I mean, have you seen my Instagram? It's like a bunch of pictures of me. Thanks to my brother. Bugs and. Living in my That's disgusting. I, I just think this is an interesting journey to keep track of, even just for me. So I could look back on this and be like, look at you back then when you thought you'd win, you know, as I'm like living under a bridge or whatever. Hi, welcome to my beauty vlog. <laughs> Uh, so this week I was working primarily on the master for a new song coming out probably in November. It's called Wicked. I got the master back and it sounds like trash. It sounds like garbage. Crappy. So I have to re-record the song and it's just, it's just a bummer. <sighs> Anytime I go through the mastering process, part of me feels like, how did I write such a terrible song? We'll be going through tweaking everything and I'll kind of forget why it was good. I've re-recorded re one line easily over a hundred times. <laughs> and it's not even a significant line. <laughs> but it bothers me and I want to get it right. So I'm still re-recording it. <laughs> I get so transfixed on these minor details that it becomes more so a technical puzzle than anything emotional. And I forget why it will be resonant in the future to whoever hears it. Because it loses its emotional meaning to me in that process, I start to think it'll have no emotional meaning for anyone else and I start doubting the song. The thing about Wicked that concerns me from a marketing perspective is it doesn't really have drums. And for whatever reason, I don't need drums in my songs. Part of me is like, oh, drums again, you know? I know they're super common, but there weren't drums in all of Beethoven's pieces, you know? <laughs> I mean, it might not work, people might hate, hate it, but it's almost like I've walked into a sandwich shop and every single sandwich has tomatoes on it. I'm like, take off those tomatoes, I don't want those tomatoes. Why has everybody gotta put tomatoes on their sandwiches? People can get caught up in this, it's not good enough hurricane about their own creative works. So they'll, they'll be working on it and working on it and it's still not done and they still haven't put anything out and months go by and years go by and all of a sudden they give up on it and they didn't put out anything. All in the quest for perfection. What are we watching? Unsolved Mysteries? Yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna solve the mysteries. We're gonna solve it before we see it. It was the, it was the husband. The husband always does it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the path to, to perfection leads to immobility sometimes. So you really gotta check yourself and be like, what the, am I seeking perfection or am I just incredibly insecure? I love you in a million ways From your toes to the tip of your nose me, you're like a bouquet. 